Well, we told you that the Larimer Sheriff was asking for your help about a plane crash near Horsetooth Reservoir. Now we know why. This plane was just feet off the water. Look at that. Dylan Thomas covers everything northern Colorado for us. Dylan, you got to meet the woman who actually took those photos. Yeah, Karen, it's not that common when a plane crashes to have the local sheriff's office requesting for the public's help getting pictures and videos of what led up to that crash. But after our report yesterday highlighting that's exactly what they did, several people started submitting their pictures and videos to the sheriff's office. I met one of those people and her video and pictures are absolutely clear. And they're also now being submitted to the FAA for the investigation. Sunday evening. I was up on horse tooth and I was doing a photo shoot for a high school senior. Stephanie Stamos' senior portrait session quickly turned into her unknowingly capturing evidence for the NTSB. All of a sudden I see this plane and it's coming in so low. And he was so close to the boat, I thought he was gonna hit the boat. And in fact, when you see the, the picture, it was even closer than I thought it was. His wheel was like almost right on top of the boat and you can see the person in the boat with the hands up. Planes flying around Horsetooth Reservoir are relatively rare, let alone one nearly dipping into the water. So she started taking pictures. And you could see point by point, t -t 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 -t, the footage was incredible. The plane appeared to fly over another nearby boat before climbing up and over the foothills. Shortly after, it crashed. I'm not surprised. Law enforcement is now investigating the flight as erratic and possibly not the result of any engine failure. That is the epitome of reckless and careless operation of an aircraft. Kevin Coleman is a professor at Metro State's Aviation and Aerospace School. That is not permitted per the federal aviation regulations. You cannot fly in any way that would endanger persons or property on the ground if you were to lose the engine. So it's it's an utter danger to those people in the boat and the people on the aircraft. Stamos said after witnessing it all, she feels the pilot put others' lives in danger. Oh, he's just being an idiot. You know, he's just flying close to the water to scare people. Now here's the thing, that expert you just heard from said it actually is legal if there was nobody at the lake, if it was a cold day where there would be no boats on the water, that plane could dip down and get very close to the water. But as we've seen in the photos, that wasn't the case on Sunday evening. Now that pilot, if cited, could get citations from law enforcement and could also face things like suspension or revocation of their pilot's license. Reporting live in Larimer County, Dolan Thomas covering Colorado First.